going to just cut out the um, opening for the rudder um, so we're just gonna pin some holes in it and then uh, we can take the material out um, having looked at this when I originally um, put these planks on the glue that I was using the zap glue uh, had clearly gone off and it wasn't sticking so um, I then went to this which I'd bought in readiness to replace the zap glue, um, so uh, Rocket Cyano Glue Gel. Um, and when I've placed these, I've not put them quite back in the same position they were. So this I don't think is straight. So we're going to use the um, this line here as a guide to start with, and I'll I'll make the gap smaller than it should be, and then we can open it up with a file. Well, let's. Uh, start by drilling it out way to open up these type of um, gaps is to use one of the, uh, the a diamond cut burr um, you can see I've got lots of different um, types here so I'm going to start with a fairly thin thin one and then we can get a thicker one uh, when we need to Now you do have to be careful because obviously these burrs will take out material um, that you don't intend to from underneath. So we do have to tread with care. We know that the hole terminates just after this join of these top two planks. So I'm going to change the burr for one slightly bigger now that we're in, which will take a little bit more material away at a time. my shape roughed out now so we're going to finish that with files So we have put pins in place to mark the top edge of our whale um, and I have um, under steam bent a curve into a strip and we can now place that against there. Now in the first planking we were using um, 
um, wood glue for putting this down and nailing it in. And we can nail this. This is going to be the lower plank of two. There'll be another plank that goes directly on top of it for the, for the whale. Um, so we could nail this as well if we wished, but actually I'm going to use medium CA uh, for gluing this down, uh, which means we can glue a little bit at a time um, and hold it in place. Um, I'm going to be using um, this, which is fast setting. That means I only have to hold it in place 10 or 15 seconds probably, um, and we're done. It grabs really quick and actually probably grabs a bit quicker than it says when you're bonding wood. Um, so that's what we're going to be using. Um, so what I need to do is get myself positioned so I can see what I'm doing and then see how I'm going to uh, hold the camera as well. Okay, I'm going to put the first strip on. The important thing is that we get a little bit of overhang there so we can trim it tight to the um, part that goes in there. This piece has already been uh, trimmed. Uh, we've already done the wells on that, that side. Um, so I've marked a little line where I want to glue up to. So I'm just going to do this front curve and we've marked um, a point here on the hull. You can just see that there, um, which is going to allow me to um, position it so I know I've got enough overhang. nice and simple it gets us our first one on um, I'm going to leave the pins in because when we come to put the second planking on it's going to allow us to line that up perfectly as well <laughs> our first whale strip on so that's not too taxing now we've got three in total to do the next two will be a little bit more difficult because of the curve here um, but we'll have a look at that together in a minute now that is in full contact the full length along so that's nice and sturdy okay so the um, next plank to go down has got to deal with the curve here of the transom um, and needs to follow the form of the hull there. So we can't just overlap it like we've done with the first one uh, because we'll have gaps and all sorts. So what we'll be doing is shaping this to fit in the first instance and then we'll have to bend it so that it fits to the hull flush and then um, rather than trimming at the transom as we usually do we'll trim at the bow um, this length. Now at the very end here will end up only being single planked. Uh, when I look at the plans the, the whale sort of finishes before it gets to this but this still needs to be planked anyway so uh, it will finish just before this pin here. So this little bit here will still be painted black like the whale but won't necessarily be too um, high 
So once this is done, we need to sand it and blend it and, and key it all in um, before we put the second strips on. Um, so first thing I want to do is just put that curve into this strip. And to do that, I'm going to use a rat tail file. And it's just a case of keep filing, keep fitting. You can see that's starting to, to curve already. So we can see that we're going to have to come in quite dramatically. So we can cut back a little bit further. Just take that out for a minute so it's not in the way of the view. So we can see that fits okay. When it's all blended in, that would look okay. So we're going to need to put a chamfer in along this top. There we go. And I do need to put a little twist in there um, because that's lying quite flat there, which is how we want it to be. Meeting like that, and then it needs to lay flat against the rest of the whale. So there's a little twist to be put in there. So I'm going to go and steam that in. Okay, I've put my twist in, and we can see how that is now sitting in place. So I'm ready to glue that in. Um, I'm not worried about the fact that this has just been steamed and is a little damp, in fact. With CA glue, it actually sticks better if the plank's damp. Um, so we're just going to put a little bit on this one end and start it off. to glue the whole length you only need to glue it sort of at dashes along the line just to hold it down we are going to have another plank running just under this as well so that'll hold it tightly in place when we put that down okay I'm going to carry on gluing this in place using medium CA and then when we get to the bow um, we'll perhaps show you where we're up to again. Bow, we just need to bring that in a little bit and to do that I need to shorten that because it's capturing the uh, whale on the other side. So what I don't want to do is make it too short so that we uh, aren't butting up against that part, that's better. So we can now, hopefully, put some super glue in there. Bring that round. Hold on to it for a few seconds and hopefully that will solve that last little bit and that's our second whale plank of six in for this side. There we go. So we've got another plank to put underneath. But let's just check how those are looking. Yet yeah, they're perfectly aligned with each other on, on the opposite side. And when we trim that down, that will look just nice. Um, obviously, we've got another set of planks to go on the top of this one. Yet yeah, I've only done the first planking, and then these these bits actually get painted. Um, I've not decided whether I'm painting the rest or not. Okay, so that's exactly how I'm going to do the third plank, so I'll do that off camera. Okay, we need to get this to fit nicely 
um, as snug as possible to our part that goes in the front there. Um, and to do that, we initially need to just trim that back a little bit. I'm going to use this uh, cutting disc on my uh, Proxon to uh, reduce it down a little bit. You can see right now we can't get that in um, so we just need to trim it back so that we can get it in and then we'll file it very slowly and uh, keep test fitting until it goes in. So the biggest issue is being able to get this little bit into there first so that it sits down snugly. <laughs> So there we have the uh, first whale planking done. You can see um, by taking it back a bit at a time with a needle file, we've been able to get a nice tight fit. This is not, um, if this is not going in properly, you probably haven't taken enough material. Um, if you use the off cut that we've used earlier, um, you can just check that it slides through. It should. At full length just touch on all sides and slide through so you can see there um, that's as good as we're going to get well as good as I'm going to get nice and tight so it clips in pushes in and importantly butts up tightly against the curve of our bow there so for me that is uh, good now it's the same process that we'll do with all of the rest of this planking. As we come to it, we will um, every two or three we'll trim it back and test fit it uh, and make sure it's all good. We won't attach this part until all of this planking's in place. Uh, this needs painting anyway. We can see our waterline, so below the waterline will be white. Now, even though this will be natural wood, as far as the kit's concerned, I've yet to decide what I'm doing with that. Um, this will all be painted black anyway, as will the whales. <laughs> So, what we need to do is make that nice and smooth. I've done that. Um, I don't personally worry about being able to see the individual planks under the paint. Um, for me, that just looks more authentic. And we've blended in this edge here that we've um, put the first planking of the whale on. Um, just want to make sure it's got a nice line. And that it's nice and even for the second to go on. Now, the second is going to terminate before that. So this is going to be 
painted in black, but it's important that we get the line looking nice. We want it to just gradually curl under there, nice and smooth. Now, we know these are the ones that we're going to put the, um, the planking on uh, for the whales. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this in in a minute. Um, I'm painting the start bit, but not all of it, because we are going to put more planks on here. But they will terminate before there, so we can plank in, paint in that, that first little bit. But before we do that, we need to sand smooth all of the... Uh, whale planking so that the second planking sits nice and flush on top of it. So using our template, I have cut to shape our uh, three planks that we're going to lie on top of these three planks to form our whale depth. Um, so just as we did before, I'm going to use medium CA glue to attach these. Um, what we'll do is we'll put the pins back in to their existing holes um, and just like before, we will push it up. Um, I've marked the position where I want the whale to start so that's 17 millimeters in from the end I've already done it on the other side so that marries up with what I've done on the other side so what we'll do is we'll put the first strip on like so and just like we did in the um, in the first layer of planking uh, we will do a little bit of bending to give us a curve um, so uh, there is nothing really um, I can show you that's new on that. Um, the, the trick is to make sure it sits on top as squarely as possible. Um, and I, we'll glue it a bit of a length at a time. So I'll glue that much and then that same length again. Um, and then we'll end up on the bow and then cut um, the excess off. Um, and then trim that down so that we can uh, put our um, uh, keel pieces in. So I'm going to get on with that and um, when this is in place I'll come back to you. Now, shape the first strip, I've marked out the start point for it um, and we've put some pins back in the holes that we originally drew, drew nails in and using the same process of gluing with medium CA I'm going to slowly glue this back into position and you've seen that before so I'm not going to show you this on camera um, but just wanted to give you an understanding of what I'm doing and then we'll shape the next one and that should give us that nice curve then. Okay our whales are now um, on um, and we have the shape that the plan shows uh, and I'm happy with all of that so this um, two things that we need to do now um, we need to finish the, um, the the whales in terms of getting them sanded and smooth and presented and then we need to paint them black before we do any other um, of the, the planking um, so whereas when we were doing um, the the hull the, the finish wasn't that important now the finish is the most important thing. So um, what I like to do is um, remove the sharp edge. I think it looks much more natural if we just round the edge off a bit. And I'm using some very fine wet and dry. Um, and all we're going to do is take off that hard corner. Um, and for me, that looks a bit more lifelike. 
if you uh, round it off it's nice and smooth and we'll do the same with the uh, curved edge here there we go we don't want any sharp sharp edges so just going to take that corner down in, and round that off as well and then of course we need it to be smooth on the top surface now these little um, bits that we uh, used as blocks when we were doing right at the start when we were setting the the frames these now become quite handy for uh, wrapping small amounts of fine sandpaper so that we can do a final surface prep so um, I want to get this as smooth as glass um, so if you've got some uh, material to take out by all means rough it but don't be using really coarse grit because it's going to take you a long time to get the scratches out um, it's better to use something that's um, like a, a medium grit um, reduce your material down and then go in with a fine Now we're going to paint this, but um, where we're not painting, then we'll use even finer so that we have, when we put a varnish on, we've got totally smooth wood. Now in terms of varnish wood, the kit has a section above the whale and a section below the whale that's left as natural wood. So we do need to think about the finish There we go, that. Now under my finger is totally smooth. And if I wanted to varnish this, it would look it would look really good now. So that's what I need to do along the full length. Just take the material down, smooth it off, smooth off the edges so we've got a nice curve. Um, want, for me, if you sand the front face first and then put your curve in, because obviously as you take your material down, the um, rounded off edges can be um, reduced down and sharpen up again. So it's the last thing we should do rather than the first, to be honest. There we go. And it's as simple as that. Just go along the edge, take the sharp corner off, and that just looks a lot more authentic in my mind, at least. There we go. That is ready for paint. So I'm going to carry on and do the rest of this. Um, and catch up with you when we're ready to paint. Okay, we are all sanded nice and smooth now. I'm happy with the, the finish. I've got my rounded off edges all the way along. Uh, and I'll, I'll be honest, if um, I didn't want to paint this and I wanted to varnish this, I know this would look superb under varnish. Um, but I am painting it, I'm going for an authentic period look. Um, so I'm using um, Admiralty Paints Dull Black throughout this build for anything that's black um, wood. Um, for me, these are the best paints for um, wooden ships. And um, it will need two coats. So we're going to go in, we did cause a little bit of damage doing the sanding so we can just smarten that up now. Um, now the important thing here is that you get right down on the sides because this is going to be um, buttered up to with um, with other wood strips and, we, and they won't be black. So it's important that we get in the sides. This is why we're painting it now, so that, that job is done. So it doesn't matter if it goes on the hull, but try not to get too much on the hull because we don't want anything to interfere with 
um, gluing of the next stage. And don't worry if you can see the planks through it. When you look on a real wooden ship like HMS Victory, you can see all those planks through the paintwork. I'm sure some of that's to do with their age, but uh, yeah. So you can see on camera, you can just about see the lines between the planks. Uh, and personally, I like that. It does shows that it's wood underneath uh, and that we've not put a chunk of plastic on or something. So I'm going to paint this up now and then I'll take a photo when it's done. <laughs> is now dried on our whales and um, what I want to do now is just seal it in to give it some protection while we continue to work. Um, so I'm going to uh, give it a coat of satin coat. I prefer a satin rather than a high gloss finish on my ships. Um, so uh, we'll give it a, a coat of that and that will seal it nicely and give us a nice hard protective coating.